What is going on, guys? We're back with another episode on the Lost Caverns of Ixalan Collector Booster Box. As you can see, we've got four left. We've done two. We've had a big hit so far. Everybody saw my Ravenous Tyrannosaurus and the other one. So, and you saw yesterday that I did get a Cavern of Souls out of the uh, collector or the gift bundle that had the collector booster in it. So, let's see what we got. We're going to go and pull out pack three here. Let me get my razor blade real quick. Because I'm sort of repaired, but not 100%. You know, I'm not technically good at this, but we're going to keep trying. See, I always do that cut, but I never make it right. So I just got to stand it up and do that. All right. All right. All right, let's see what we get for the good old box topper here. And I also want to let everybody know that I go to a local game store to buy all this stuff. I don't go to Target or Walmart or Feebay or anything crazy like that. Everything I get is LGS. Got to support your local game stores, guys. Without them, we'd be stuck paying the big box, guys, and it would suck. I'm not really happy. This is pretty darn crinkled up here, so I'm hoping that this is okay. Let's throw this up here see what we got. It's pretty nice to get a Chalice of the Void, but we will see what comes in here. I always get nervous opening it this way because I'm just afraid it's just going to shred the card because of this, the glue and everything. Lightning Greaves Foil. Well, it works. We will take it. This is actually a pretty nice uh, foil version of Lightning Greaves. I really like it. Haste and Shroud, no equip fee. So, good card. All right, we're going to move this off to the side here. Let me make sure it's still on camera. Yep, there we go. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, as always, we're going to go here. Let's see. We're going to go to our mountain, our land. There's our story, our uncommon, like, crazy foil. All right, let's see. Here, all right. There's that one. Thousand Moose Smitty. There's my Commander card, Bronze Beak Foragers. So some cool Triceratops. There's my Restless. Let's see here. Savage Order as the Jurassic Park card. And Throne of the Grim Captain as my rare. And then, of course, a dinosaur. Well, it's a double dinosaur. You get an egg and that one in it. So I guess we'll take it for the token. All right. Did I get any Mythics in that one? I did not. So no Mythics in that one. But I didn't get a land, so that's always important. No land is always good. All right, let's keep going here. It took me a little bit to figure out the pull tabs. Got to make sure that I can do it right. My putter, you used to say in golf, you know, does your putter match your purse? All right, so Captain Sunhorn, or no, sorry, Caprocity. Caprosity, something like that. We'll see. Ooh, Skull Spore Nexus. Love this card. And it's the foil, so we got a mythic there. Queen's Bay Paladin. Hey, it's got the sticker on it. You guys will see yesterday I got a bot. My stuff didn't have the stickers on it. Habakal, or Hackball, sorry. That's my commander card. Another Polani's Hatcher, which you think would be a... Oh, man. Guys, you can see it. Whatever my Jurassic Park card is, it's got the mist cut on it. Oh, hopefully it's only a land. It's a command tower. Okay. This is like my third or fourth one that I've gotten like this. And then, of course, Starving Revenant and then a gnome. Oh, a double gnome token. Gnome, gnome soldier. Pretty cool. That's just really frustrating to me to keep getting the Jurassic Park cards with the mist cut. I think by the time I'm done opening all these, because, you know, you get a foil in every pack, I'm wondering if I have enough to complete my set. Let's see. Mischievous Pup. I love that one. All right. Another Planes. All right. There's the treatment card, like your special treatment one. All right. Treasure Map. Subterranean Schooner. Tributary Instructor. Never seen that one yet in my stacks. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, baby. Another Osier Talk. We will take it. 
Hey, a foil swamp. There we go. I'm back to getting lands. Uh, Preacher of the Schism and the map dinosaur token. But I will take good old Osier Talk. Yeah. All right, keep on rolling here. I, I run Osier Talk in my Edgar Markov deck with a Roaming Throne. And, uh, you know, getting uh, six tokens every time you play a vampire is nice. And then if I throw in my Soren Markov and create a vampire, so I can get up to 12 tokens a turn. So that's always nice. Okay. Belligerent Yearling. Ooh, Bringer of the Last Gift in foil. That's nice looking. Mazatlanti, Mazatlantili, something like that. A lot of Zs. I'm going to do my best. The Wonder Glyph has my commander card. Echoing Deeps. Another Plains and Abuelo. And I got, oh, there's a Jurassic Park token. So dinosaur tokens, almost double Jurassic Park. Sometimes I go a little too fast. But we're back on getting lands because that's just my luck. All right, I'm going to rearrange it here. All right, we're almost done here, guys. Almost done. Or actually, we're half, this will be almost halfway through. Oh, there's one half of the Jurassic Park token. Now, if the treasure token is on the other side, that's like a $4 token right there. So that's nice. So far, we've only had the one big hit, the Osier Talk, which my hand is hiding. I'll move it over here a little bit so you guys can see it better. Special treatment card. There's NT. Um, apparently, um, the MTG Moxman says this was the top-selling card this past week, and I can see why he's pretty popular. Poetic Ingenuity. That's a new one. Arm-mounted Anchor. Nice. Yep, there's Abuelo again. Where's Abelita? Ooh, another Ravenous Tyrannosaurus in the foil treatment. I will take that all day. And then the belligerent, and then the gnome dinosaur token. All right. Look at that. Ozier talk and a foil Ravenous Tyrannosaurus. Come on, pull tab. All right, that one doesn't want to work for me. You guys are laughing at me right now. I messed up the pull tab and now I'm stuck opening it this way. There we go. Not everyone's perfect. I can't be like some of the other guys out there. Okay. I've been, it's, I haven't seen one here yet. Some of the good, like, sometimes in this spot here, you can get really good story spotlight cards. Like, the there's a pirate one, and I think there's a vampire one. So it'd be nice to get those here every now and then. All right, so, Deep Fathom Echo. Merfolk. Merfolks are just taking off like crazy. The Millennium Calendar, that's a mythic. Dusk Legion Sergeant. Nice card, that's definitely going my vampire one. Oh, Skull Spore Nexus right there. Non-foil, though. We'll take it still. All right, let's see. Jurassic Park card. Comfy Swarm again. And Restless Vince in the foil treatment with the map pirate token. All right. All right, so that's halfway through this box. There we go. Ooh, I love these foil tokens for the vampires for my Edgar Markov deck. They look so nice. Petrify, that's a great card for two mana. All right. Swamp. All right, there's Captain Storm. Quintorius Khan, so that's the foil version of one of the Planeswalkers. Abuelo's Awakening. Uh, the Orrich Stalactite. All right, so you can do crafting with it. Cool. Cool. Get Lost, non-foil treatment. Such a cool-looking card. Uh, play this in my vampire deck as well. And there's another land, because I hadn't had one in a little bit. And Deep Root Pilgrimage, which, for the mofolk players, are probably loving that one. Because, Mer again, I'm telling you guys, my, my LGS, Mer they can't keep the merfolk in stock. Merfolk and Velociraptor are the hot ones. It seems like... Uh, 
the pirates are the least popular, then vampires, but between Velociraptor and the uh, merfolk, those ones are just taken off. And there's Zawaya again. See the growing rights of Itlamok. Okay, we'll take it. Deep Fathom Echo again. There's a Mythic for my commander, uh, Hawkball. I think that's the... Was that the Merfolk commander? I don't know for the deck. I'm not sure. Trumpeting Carnosaur. There's Henry Woot. But, you know... This is the least valuable of all the non-land Jurassic Park cards is Henry Wu. I think I saw him going for like 25 cents, which I was like, okay. And then the Kite Sail Larcenist. Pirate. Oh, treasure token. All right. I just think that's weird that this Jurassic Park card is like a quarter. I could understand that for some of the lands, but... Oh, well. It's just the craziness that is magic. Give it 30 years and it'll be worth a buck. I like how they brought contested game ball, an old uh, Mayan uh, game to play. I think it was Mayan. I'm not sure. Don't, don't crucify me over it. There's another It's Quint. I think that's how you say it. It's Quint. Politic Ingenuity. Ooh, Charismatic Conqueror. That's a good one. I'll take that one all day. I'll put that one down in my value pile. Kellen, I've gotten a lot of this guy. Probably more than I really want to. And, hey, another land card, because why not? Ooh, Resplendent Angel. That's a beautiful foil card right there. Just beautiful looking. And a Mythic. We'll take it. All right. Okay. Still on the hunt for a Cavern of Souls. And, you know, a Mana Crypt, that would be just amazing, but my luck ain't that good. See, there we go. This is one of the special guests I was talking about. This guy's actually been doing pretty well value-wise as of late, the Pitiless Plunder. So I'm actually, even though he's an uncommon, he's going to go into my rare pile. Restless Prairie. Oops, that's not that pile. That one there, Threefold Thunder Hulk. There's my Commander's card. The Breaches Eager Pillager. Okay, Goblin Pirate. There's Dr. Ian, all right. And Sanguine Evangelist, another great card. All right, this is actually a card, Um, even though I'm terrible at drafting, I like to get this card when I do draft, Um, and it's Ixalan. And she's doing okay because she gets that bat token in there for three, plus her abilities. All right, we got two packs left to go on this run, guys. Two packs left to go. I'm probably done getting the cool Jurassic Park cards. Even Money says I pull two lands on my last two ones. All right. Story Spotlight card, or the special treatment one. There's the Trumpeting Carnosaur regular one. I think this is the first time I've seen this one. Um, I've gotten a lot of, this, of the other art, but it's nice to get this one. Bedrock Tortoise, first time seeing that. From the Rubble. It's not a bad card. Ooh, Galta Stampede Tyrant. That's definitely a good one going in the safe pile. Yep, hey, I called it another land. And Molten Collapse Foil. All right, because I definitely need more lands. All right, last one, guys, last one. device that's that's a cool card i don't know i just like the art on it all right Earthshaker dread ma that's not a bad card all right there's bedrock to now i said it now we're gonna get a lot of bedrock tortoise that's just how it goes tarion's journal march of the canonized love this card right my vampire deck does so much damage starving revenant again Hey, and a foil command tower. What? But I did say it would be a land. <gasps> no way. Ho, 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 last pack. No way. The red Cosmium Inc. Cavern of Souls. No, 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 no. I just, I, oh, man. 
Whoo, man, I'm glad that's the last pack, guys, because my hands are shaking. Let's get this out of here. Ooh, no way. That's the 410E. I think this is the valuable one, guys, because it's the red Cosmium ink. Well, definitely did not take a loss on this box between these guys here and the Cavern of Souls. Uh, I'll be back in a few with the after party, and we'll see how we did value-wise. Oh, man, guys, I can't even tell you. My hands are still shaking from pulling this. Uh, this is the after party for box three of my case of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And yes, I did hit the Res Cosmium Inc. Cavern of Souls. So definitely did not lose on this box when you combine this one plus the other ones here. And then you throw in the Ravenous Tyrannosaurus. So far, I'm actually ahead because both of these are about three... There's probably $700 if I could, you know, get cash for both of these put together-ish. You know, maybe $650, but considering the booster boxes are only $600. So, definitely didn't lose so far with this Cavern of Souls. You guys can see the other good ones that I got. These are the bigger ones over here. Another Ravenous Tyrannosaurus. Um, hit a ton of lands. But, hey, I finally got the Foil Command Tower. So, this is actually what made it worth it. I got about seven of these non-foils. So to finally get the foil, you know, that's the winner of the box. So, yes, we did not lose today. We've got a winner. The Red Cosmia Mink, Cavern of Souls. Thanks again for watching, guys. And then we'll see you here as we start working on the rest of the case.